1 to 2% of people, or one of the 16 Myers-Briggs personality types, are INFJ, an abbreviation for introversion, intuition, feeling, and judging is INFJ. INFJ utilize their four fundamental traits to identify the cognitive processes they rely on the most to get through life. It can be somewhat startling for some to learn that INFJ also have a few intense traits to them that might have an intimidating effect given their reputation for warmth and gentleness. Wondering how intimidating INFJ can be? Let's investigate! Please leave a like if you enjoy this video and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Number 1. Because of their INFJ stare, INFJ can be intimidating. You inquire what the INFJ stare is. The INFJ stare is a common trait of INFJ and is their expression of thought. It is a profound, soul-piercing stare. An INFJ might be found sitting somewhere and fixating on a wall, the ceiling, the distance, or you while you are speaking. You'll feel as though the INFJ is reading your soul when you encounter their gaze. Being stared at like that by an INFJ who won't break eye contact with you can be extremely terrifying. They don't intend to intimidate you, of course. They may no longer feel the social signs that ask for breaking eye contact every five seconds because you've aroused their curiosity because of their interest in you or something you've stated. They might also be attempting to read you because INFJ are adept at deducing a person's character and intentions through reading their body language, subtle facial expressions, and, in a sense, absorbing their energy. Or perhaps they are contemplating the topic of your chat intently. You can also be in their field of vision as they are daydreaming about something else. In the latter scenario, you'll have the impression that the INFJ is staring right through you as they are preoccupied with their thoughts and project a diffused focus onto the infinite horizon where you are standing. Because they are unsure of how to interpret this strong unbreakable gaze that seems to reveal your soul's own essence as well as every past life, many individuals become intimidated. And no surprise, However, INFJ dislike pointless argument, so there's a good probability that they aren't intentionally unfriendly. They are only experiencing an intriguing concept again. Number 2. INFJ can be intimidating due of their mystique. INFJ are well-renowned for being highly private people. They have a remarkable ability to compel you to reveal your darkest secrets to them in the course of a brief conversation. However, to your astonishment, you find out you know nothing about them until you get home and start cooking supper hours after the talk finished. In contrast, you would feel intrigued rather than duped. Why? Because INFJ have a unique energy of confidence that they employ to entice everyone into sharing their secrets. Although you feel somewhat exposed, you simultaneously get a reassuring visceral sense that the INFJ is a trustworthy confidante. You might even come to the realization that you needed to release some of the weight, and you might feel lighter. But you genuinely ponder what compelled you to divulge to them all the information you may not have even shared with your best pal. You strive to understand the INFJ, but you don't have much information because of their discretion. They say that still rivers run deep. And because they may anxiously attempt to guess how deep the INFJ's waters actually run, Many people may feel scared by the INFJ, just like the scuba diver who descends to the ocean floor but can't yet see the bottom. Number 3. INFJ can be intimidating due to their steadfast dedication. INFJ have a tendency to be idealistic, resolute, passionate, and dedicated as I covered in my post 7 essential INFJ male relationship needs. It can be challenging for INFJ to conceal these strong character qualities, despite the shroud of mystery they wear underneath in terms of style. INFJ place a high priority on their values, interests, dreams, and aspirations. Anyone who professes to have any kind of ambition may find the ways in which INFJ value generosity, are drawn to others, dream of creative expression, and long for a life of freedom and autonomy daunting because they frequently discover that the INFJ's apparent unshakable devotion dwarfs their own devotion to the cause. This is due to the fact that INFJ frequently adopt an all-or-nothing mentality that results from their idealism and perfectionism. They must make every effort to go toward the wonderful future they see, or they will perish. 
This is so that their primary demands for creative expression, independence, and excellent relationships can be met in the envisioned future. Realizing their dreams is not just a luxury or privilege for an INFJ, it is something quite else. They see it as a moral requirement. Although most schools do not require an all-or-nothing mindset, some others may find the INFJ's dedication to be intimidating due to their all-in attitude toward everything the INFJ values. Because, as they say when eating bacon and eggs for breakfast, the pig is committed, but the chicken is involved. Number 4. INFJ can be intimidating because of their curiosity. Inquiring cases result from curious brains. Openness to new experiences is frequently viewed favorably in relation to intelligence. INFJ are renowned for their genuine curiosity about other people and abstract and difficult ideas in the humanities, sciences, and arts. INFJ have a propensity to obsess over their interests. Therefore, it frequently happens that they have also developed a high level of intelligence. Because the INFJ frequently exhibits a remarkable, well-rounded broad knowledge of topics acquired through their widespread inquiry, this might be daunting to other people who talk with the INFJ. INFJ are known to be highly sympathetic and curious about the inner lives of others. As a result, they frequently ask probing inquiries that help bring out a person's underlying nature or essence. But because having someone at a birthday party ask you existential questions may be highly aggressive and intimidating, these frequent INFJ deep dives into another person's psyche are frequently not appreciated. INFJ, take it easy. Number 5. INFJ can be intimidating due to their strong feeling of independence. Have you ever attempted to direct an INFJ? No? Why not? I'm going to guess that you already knew that wouldn't go well. INFJ tend to live their lives as lone wolves, iconoclasts, or mavericks, which is why. They take their personal sovereignty very seriously and acknowledge that every person is a sovereign being. INFJ can easily fit into any social structure or hierarchy by adopting a role or persona that would enable them to function there for at least a brief period of time, but in reality, they abhor hierarchy particularly when it demands slavish allegiance from its members to whichever authoritarian figurehead occupies the top position inside that system. INFJ desire to be strong, independent, and financially self-sufficient individuals who can not only survive, but also thrive while creating the life they want. They demand this power from themselves because they understand that it is the necessary base upon which to construct the life of their dreams. INFJ are often very concerned about being able to support their friends and family during difficult times. When INFJ are so focused on their independence, it can be daunting for those around them because it may appear that they don't enjoy being in a group, receiving assistance from others, or simply enjoying the company of others. This might be accurate, which would deter individuals. However, the INFJ works arduously to realize their desired objective of independence in the background of their solitary existence. Because the INFJ thinks you have to be at least twice as strong to survive on your own, exactly like the wolf that went rogue by breaking away from the group. Number 6. INFJ can be intimidating due to their keen observational skills. What's the connection between the clothes you wore two weeks ago, your constantly shifting emotional state, and your fundamental personality makeup that it failed to overcome the INFJ. INFJ have a reputation for being skilled observers. It is simple to notice and register the subtleties of noises, colors, lights, aromas, touches, tastes, mood swings, social interaction quality, behavior patterns, and voice intonation. The fact that many INFJ were also born as highly sensitive individuals most certainly has something to do with it. About one in five people, or any species, for that matter are born with a more finely tuned neural system, which can more easily pick up on minor stimuli but is also more easily overexcited, claims clinical research psychologist Aaron. This could be the INFJ's best kept secret for keenly observing their surroundings. On the other hand, because they feel as though they are being watched and can do nothing without being caught, Many around the Sherlock Holmes INFJ find this natural talent for outstanding observation abilities to be quite threatening. Number 7. INFJ can be intimidating because of their competitive nature. 
Unbelievably, there is a tremendous competitiveness hidden behind the INFJ's mysterious, soft-spoken, loving, sympathetic personality. As was previously stated, they are devoted and passionate individuals, and this passion unquestionably comes through when INFJ compete. A true challenge is undoubtedly their favorite. It doesn't really matter if it's in sports or video games. Don't worry, though, to the INFJ, most of the time, this is all in good fun. They may explore all of that through competition because they are incredibly growth-oriented and ready to learn and push their limits. The level of ferocity with which someone might attempt to defeat you in Super Smash Bros., though, can be frightening. INFJ don't tend to be ungrateful losers. However, only if they lose while being confident that they give it their all. INFJ are unquestionably sore losers if they didn't give it their all and ended up failing. They will, however, just be upset with themselves. We sincerely hope you found this video to be useful. Feel free to comment if we missed anything. If you like this video, like and share it and subscribe to the channel for more updates on helpful insights.